Setups like Cobra Post are important everywhere in the world, particularly now. But something like Cobra Post is particularly important in India. What these kind of setups do is they challenge existing media, but they do it professionally. They are independent, but in this case, independent doesn't mean fringe. It means right in the mainstream of news, but done without any question about the integrity of the journalists, about the motivation of the organization for which they're working. Now, that's critically important in an environment where there are profound questions over the, uh, over the degree to which you can trust major organizations that produce news and, of course, have an influence. And that's why Cobra Post are really important in India because that's what they're doing. They're challenging, but you can trust them. And that's a really important combination to have. The other thing that Copper Post have done, which is really impressive, is, is they're well ahead of the game in terms of uh, the internet, in terms of their funding structure, in terms of the way journalism is evolving. They are light on their feet. They're nimble. They're clever. Uh, they're funny in some ways, they're witty, they take things that are important, turn them around, look at them from a new angle, and when you look at things from a new angle, you see things you didn't see before. And, and that's what all media are trying to do now, because that's what people demand. The old way of just saying, here you are, here's the news, isn't enough. You can't just talk to people like that any longer. What Cobra Post do is they show people what the news is, they show people angles, they show people different angles, they challenge, they examine, uh, and they do so without an agenda other than the simple agenda of disrupting people's preconceptions. And, and that's really very, very contemporary, and Cobra Post has been doing it for much longer than many others. Well, I think the media environment is going to have all sorts of different models in it, uh, producing different types of journalism in different ways and funding it in different ways. It's not like one model is going to disappear and be replaced by another, both in terms of the media that are involved, i.e. the simple means of transmission of information or the means of consum consumption of that information or the means of funding. But the things that Cobra Post are doing in terms of the way they're getting information, getting their news, getting their stories out, and in the way that they're funding their journalism, are both, are, is in general, profoundly contemporary. And that the public model of funding, the non-profit funding, transparent, open, declared, is a new thing and a very important thing. And it's something that people are doing across the world. Some people are making it work. Other people aren't making it work. And the people who aren't making it work are failing because they don't get the basic point, which is this is really about journalists who want to get a story out, who have ideas, who see things that are important, that they want to talk about. They want to do it professionally. To do things professionally costs money, it takes resources, they need to get those resources, but they don't want to be tied down to making profits or following some kind of company line. And if you get it right, you get all those things together, you get a fantastic product which people want. And that's really important. It's not about fringe operations looking at fringe issues and lobbying on those issues with dubious journalistic practices. This is about proper professional journalists doing proper professional journalism, just funding it in a new way. I, I can think of a few people who are less intimidating than, than Anirudh, in fact. Uh, what I like most about Anirudh is when he calls you, you never know what you're going to have a conversation about. You could be having a conversation about a new project he's got going. You could be having a conversation about something he's just seen on the news. You could be having a conversation about a historical novel that he's working on, or a thriller, or a uh, a film or a cartoon or absolutely anything and that's what that's what I like I like this this creativity this scattergun approach a scatterbrained approach with Anirudh anything can work anything can be made to work anything can be taken looked at and rejected but whatever it is is going to be fun it's going to be fun it's going to be interesting and I think that those two things you know there's this idea that interesting and serious is serious and intense and no fun at all. 
and stuff that's fun is frivolous. It's not true. Great reporting is fun. Being interested is fun. And Anna had manages to get all that and apply it to all these sort of crazy ideas and bring people with him as well. And, that, and that's what I like. I mean, and there's a network of people. And he does what journalists do. I mean, you know, there was an old idea of a journalist, uh, which is one that I kind of grew up with and has gone back centuries and centuries, which is, it, it's a fantastically important profession that doesn't take itself too seriously. You know, at the end of the day, it, it performs a hugely serious function and all journalists really take it pretty seriously, but they have a lot of fun doing it. And, that, and that's the point, and that's what Anna gets across, which is what I really like. Yeah, I mean, I, just, I, just, I think I've probably said it, but I just want to say, you know, good journalism costs money. Uh, the, the question is where you get that money from, um, how you use that money, and how you make it clear what the sources of that money are. And that's, these are questions that can only be worked out in the practice. It's all very well going off and talking about it in seminars, but the, the real key is actually trying to put something together that works. And that's a very difficult thing to do, but at the moment it's very important. There's never been a greater demand for news globally. It's never been easier to communicate, either as a news organisation or as a news consumer. Uh, that the whole landscape has been profoundly changed. But all of that doesn't mean that serious journalism is dead or there's no place for serious journalism, there's no place for in-depth investigations, there's no place for quality writing. It means that all of that is more important than ever. And what's really critical is finding ways to engage readers, to engage users, do the kind of journalism and keep the integrity of that journalism. And that's harder and harder, but more and more important. What I've also enjoyed in the work that Cobble Post have done has been the more historical ones, as well as the bang up to date. And I think the recognition that a country lives its present through the frame of the past is a really important one. And the investigations done on the real events at Ayodhya using similar journalistic techniques that you'd use in a modern day contemporary situation but applying them in a historical situation is really interesting and really valuable because that brings out material and ideas, conclusions, it suggests new ways of looking at the past which are very, very valuable in examining the future. And that to me, in a way, the Iodia operation was the, or the work that was done around Iodia was one of the most important things that Cobra Post had done because of that. It was a way of looking at the present and through the present the future by going back to the past. And that's clever and it's very, very useful. <laughs>